Would they go or wouldn't they go? But Australia did. The game was in Bulawayo, and Australia were looking for their fourth win on a pitch seeming to favour the batsmen. We expected the ground to be a bit wetter than it was, but we turned up yesterday and had a, a good hit and a good, a good run around in the field. So a lot of our preparation in Potchefstroom before we arrived here, so the guys are raring to go. There's the Australian team, Gilchrist, Hogg and Lee are back. Zimbabwe who won the toss, and they chose to bat. Whittle on strike. It's in the air, this is the first wicket, he's trying to pull it. It's in the air, into the sun, and taken. Brad Hogg uh, had to stand underneath that one for quite a long time. He had his dark glasses on, looking into the sun, but it was a bit of a lollipop for him. And so, straight away, Gillespie has struck with a bouncer. Had a pull at that and he's, he's got out. Again, not short enough for the pull. It's come on to him a lot quicker than he thought. And Craig Wishart has misjudged it off the under edge onto the stumps. That's a lovely shot. No need to run for that. That's beautifully timed. Slightly over the pitch from Brett Lee. But Andy Flower didn't smash it through the covers. He almost just eased it through the covers. It's in the air, but Gronfar's lucky, he's got that fine. No ball. Starts the no ball. There's coming, there's it's a mix up here, it's a mix up at the, at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Magnificent throw for Chris. Well, there was two there. Andy Flower called a two. The gravel fieldsman down at deep backward square leg. He fired the throw into Gilchrist who had, well, 22 yards to throw the stumps down. Oh, that's a beautiful delivery. That is the flip up from Brad Hogg. And he's gone right through Andy Flower. Well, that is a wonderful piece of up. That's out in the street almost. One. Into the practice nets on the off side of the ground. 50 for Andy Blignow. What a magnificent innings. It's Brett Lee to him round the wicket. <laughs> Full toss and oh what a catch! What an unbelievable catch! Brett Lee has taken a miracle catch. And Noll has hit that full toss back at him like a rocket. His reactions are incredible. Corton bowled, Brett Lee brings an end to a fantastic innings. A lot put into that action by Brett Lee in his policy. He's only taken two strides, the ball's come rocketing back at him. And what reactions? What is to get that ball? He's come straight at him, had he missed it, or hit him between the eyes. But he's got a magnificent catch. Looks surprised to catch it, actually. Two fine half centuries from the Andes, Flower and Blicknot saw Zimbabwe reach 246 for nine from their 50 overs. Brad Hogg was the pick of the Australian attack with three for 46, and there were two wickets each for Lee and McGrath. Gilchrist and Hayden, the opening batsman, were aware that a good start was essential. 247 was the target. A streak to Gilchrist. Straight away, slightly over pitches. And as we said earlier, hard winnings. Want to play your shots, play straight. That's where the short boundaries are. Maximum benefit. Lovely start for Gilbert. That's good. Short of the boundary rope. End of the over. 86 for no wicket. Good. And he's dropped it. Full toss straight back to the bowler. First ball, and oh well, I think it perhaps just came back at him a little quicker than he expected. But it's definitely another chance down, that's two now. Thank you. The innocuous ball doesn't get down to it in time. In the air, and that one is blocked, that's out. Oh yes, they're just leaning back as if to say, oh no, how could I do this? Would you believe it? He looked out from that. It was uh, 
so short that Gilchrist had to wait and wait and wait for it and he has hit it straight down mid wicket straight uh, that was loose full toss on leg stump precisely what it deserved He's got him, he's got him caught and bowled. So Ricky Pond got the penalty here for becoming a little restless. Close the face on that one. He does get out caught and bowled a lot. Just close the face and uh, a little bit of spin there resulted in going straight back to the bowler. That's a big one for Zimbabwe. Oh, that's right through. It may well be the boundary as well. It will. And it certainly wasn't where and Martin wanted the ball to go. But he got the result he was after, and the 200's up. Oh. John, what you found? Uh, it's, have to go. That's yeah, good running. Very good running. 50 for Darren Lehman. Fifty for Damien Martin, so that's top for him, one against Holland the other day at Rogers uh, Room, and now here today against Zimbabwe. And I think that is the game. Darren Lehman has pulled that away behind square leg. The Australians have won by seven wickets. It's a good win. I think the bowlers bowled really well early and then uh, look the Zimbabwean wonderfully well in the last 10 overs there to put, post a very competitive total so um, yeah we're rel relieved to get the four points. Positive contributions from all five Australian batsmen and though there were just 15 balls to spare when they won they had cruised to victory. The side now sat proudly at the top of Pool A, their 100% record still intact.